My name is Eric and I do artwork under the name of Hati. I'm originally from a small town called New Ulm, but I'm currently based in St. Paul, Minnesota. I got my start about 14 years ago when I started doing graffiti and then I started going to school. I went to MCAD and then about two years into my education um, I had gotten busted for doing graffiti and so I decided to stop and to just focus on my degree and my education. I started to feel this void in my life because I was no longer doing graffiti. I wanted to figure out a way of doing street art non-destructively. Um, so I came up with a way of doing it using yarn because of how temporary it was and how easy it was to take it down. I want people to be walking by and see something that's not for you know, a certain product or for a certain idea. I just want to see something that's beautiful and something that people can enjoy and just sort of be inspired by, you know? I usually choose my locations based off of how new or old they are. I tend to gravitate towards bringing color to sort of a dull space or forgotten space. All my pieces consist of putting yourself through some sort of manual labor or continuous motion, either like walking back and forth or tying thousands of knots. For instance, the, the piece that I just did, you know, we spent over 12 hours creating it, but now, you know, standing back, you know, creating this arc in the space, you know, it, it almost appears as if it's floating or if it's like the mist, you know, from the rain, you know, that's creating this color feel, you know, after walking back and forth or tying so many knots and just seeing sort of the final product and seeing people um, interact and engage with it, it's just, it's just like the greatest feeling ever and you know, I don't have graffiti art anymore, you know, I can't step away from like a, a freshly painted train or like a freshly painted piece on a wall, you know, I, I, I have to create these elaborate installations, you know, to sort of keep me going. The name of the piece is Optimist. I came up with that title um, because the shape of the installation is a half sphere. And I sort of just elaborated on that. You know, you can either look at this piece and say, hey, you know, this isn't supposed to be here. You know, why, why is this here? This should be taken down. Or you can look past that fact and you can say, hey, this is something nice to look at. It's beautiful, it's interesting, um, and it's making a good use of the space. And then that sort of led me to think of, you know, people who are pessimistic and people who are optimistic. And, you know, is the glass half full? Is the glass half empty? And I like to see the glass as half full. And so I like to think of myself as an optimist, and therefore I titled the piece Optimist.